Hey, what's going on everybody? We are in Greer, South Carolina and we are about to check out Toy Federation. This shop I believe mainly has vintage toys. As you can see they have toys, they buy, sell, and trade. So let's go check it out. Alright, so as we enter the shop, there's a small little room. Got a couple old arcades. Got some play sets. Yeah, they are filled with toys. It's a large Darth Vader. Mini Darth Vader. Still pretty dang big. That's, that's over 25 inches. A whole bunch of Lucy's here. Yeah, plenty of them. Five dollars or five for twenty dollars. Okay. Turbo Man. Stormtrooper. All right, let's start from the left. I got a nice little detail. Oh, look at this. Batmobile. It's got a rocket launcher. Never seen. I did not. I was at the show the whole time when I forgot it was going live. Some Secret Wars. Tower of Doom. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, because I was nuts. Where's the shadow building? And I was packing and driving home last night. So I, I, I literally did the world. Oh, man. Yeah. Last night, I got home. Dude, they are filled to the brim. Uh, got Cyrax here. Fifty dollars. I actually had this. <laughs> the animator brings drawings to life and life to your drawings. Batteries not included. From Irwin. Yeah. Shoot. That's back cave here. Yeah, plenty of vintage stuff here. Batwing, Batman Forever. Never seen this. Right. Got Lucy's here. Plenty mm. of deluxe ninja figures back there. Very cool. Galactus here, 100 bucks. Got some Stargate figures back there too, which I've never seen. Dang, look at all this stuff. Full of vintage figures. Wish I could go back there and take a look. Yeah. Never seen these. I got some Motu stuff. Batmobile. I have no idea from what year. Yeah, look at all this Motu. Evil can evil? Man, that's a minty, minty box there. Deuce of Hazard. Jeez, they got so much, man. What is that? The last action here. Evil Eye Roadster. Dirty Box. Manta Ray. G.I. Joe. Vehicle. 40 bucks. James Bond Jr. 40 bucks. Dang God. But as of right now, all that's got to do with the flash movie. You've not done like a Jack Oh man, here we go. Look at this turtle set. That's pretty freaking cool. It's like a seven inch raft with a whole bunch of mini turtles on there. 110 bucks. Never seen that. And look at this. Turtle copter. I don't know the name of it. Never seen it in person. 90 bucks. It's pretty worn though. Pizza Tosser Michelangelo must be old. It's 40 bucks. 
Castle Grey School. We got a turtle tank up there, 150 bucks. Never seen that in person. Dude, this store is amazing. I haven't even covered one tenth of it, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn the brightness down of my camera so I could. Oh, dude. They got the Ninja Turtles hockey set. I had that as a child. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles come to ring to a hockey. Master the ninja skill of getting the pizza to go into the sewer. Awesome. Comes with 12 Ninja Turtle players, a higher form of turtle power. I actually have like a journal entry when I was, whenever this year, the, when this came out. But I talk about we actually had to throw this away like a week later after my brother and I received this as a gift because we would fight so much um, because of it because it's, yeah it's a it's a game yeah I still got some of the pieces to man that's pretty cool I didn't, I didn't know the box was that big of course I was a kid I don't recall how the box looks I wonder how much that goes for. Gosh. So three and three quarter Joes. That's a cool looking vehicle. A lot of vehicles, man. I can't, you know what? Damn, I can't even fit that in my car right now. I got so much stuff in the car because I brought a whole bunch of like, food from Atlanta. There's a lot of Korean markets there. Plenty of Joes, jeez. 20 bucks. I don't know how old these are. Let's see. It's from Hasbro. 2020, so yeah. Not too old. This Imperial Shuttle. No price tag, price tag on there. It's probably expensive. Oh, 400 bucks. Okay. Maybe it's sealed, I have no idea. Some wrestlers. Ten bucks for these little ones. Oh, that one's 80 right there. Hulk Hogan's 30. They look nice and clean, too. Some vintage Star Wars. Save one share. Boba Fett is three hundred dollars. That one's four hundred. Jabba the Hutt. Remember this from Walmart. This is my section right here. They're all in cases too. So some guy bought like seven hundred dollars for just fifteen dollars for Oh, that's a sick looking one. Magneto. I like that. Look how shiny that is. Man. I actually got this Colossus. Loose. Twenty bucks. Fifteen bucks. Is that a juggernaut here? Weird looking juggernaut. Uh, I think the only thing I need is vision. There's full chair. They finally they show a lot of good jugs like shipwreck and they have a scorpion. 
40 bucks. <laughs> Destroyer. <laughs> Snowboarding human torch. <laughs> it's Chris Evans. Face goes not it's bad but not as bad as I would think it would be for the year that it came out. Right, check this out. Blackbird Jet. Two hundred bucks. And it's sealed and it's a minty box. That is really tempting me. I wonder if Hazlab is gonna bring out a Blackbird, man. I actually just picked this up at the con. 40 bucks here? Yeah, I think I got it for a lot cheaper. I won't drop anything. What's this right here? Some scorpion looking thing. Black right all. Very cool. Oh, dude, what is that? Five inch Wolverine, 40 bucks. It's got like a mech suit or something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's got the KB door, KB toys tag. Yamaguchi cabinet. Magneto. Two hundred bucks for a cable. Glad I got that figure before it went up. Like that, man. Look at this, vampire. 60 bucks. Never seen that. Dude, there's already so many things I've never seen before. A whole bunch of legends. Some older Marvel figures. Uh, Great Hulk. $50. Man. Full stack, 20 bucks. It's Marvel Universe figures. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of these. Yeah, I love these. Oh, they got the three pack. I'm not sure if that's retail. I <laughs> collect this, 80 bucks. Man. Homecoming Spider Man. What company is this from? NECA. Wow, I didn't know they'd make this. 140 bucks. They got the Skyrider playset. Spider Man. 140 bucks. Oh, Maestro. 30 bucks. Nope. Never seen that one. Smart Hulk. Forty bucks. They got a gray Hulk back here. Never seen these before. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah, I forgot they had a Bunch of legends. <laughs> got some Dragon Ball figures here, here as well. Got trunks. 10 bucks. Bardock. 20. Now you got some Vox Machina figures as well. Never seen these. Less and less there. And then we got the spirit is still there. And why you bring it up? You just salesman. You're salesman. This is the slaughter you're hard. I know you put the name. Lunar. Oh no, it's a spirit. The tote. It's a hard tote if you bring your soul in it. Yeah, I got yeah. something else.
I got some bangs here. 80 bucks. Super friends. Arkham City, Batman figures. Raz al Ghul, 30 bucks. Hush. Dude, that was awesome. It's really nice. Never seen these before, too, man. Jeez. Bizarro, 20 bucks. Dude. Penguin, 40 bucks. It's back there. Clown Doug, dude, he looks awesome too. 25 bucks. Jervis Mad Hatter. Anime series Batman, 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. Figures. That's retail right there. Nice. Oh, they got the Harley Quinn set too. I wonder if they're going to reissue that as well. Interesting. Never seen that. Look at this. Super Shogun, Star Wars, Shadow Trooper. Two hundred twenty dollars is from Funko and Super Seven. Wow. Interesting. It's a big figure. Star Trek figures. See, this one's five bucks. Dang, is that cheap? I do see them pretty often. Star Trek, ten bucks for this one. Guess they made plenty of them. What's a spawn figure? Vampire. Buffy the Vampire. Is there. Oh, Stargate. Anubis. Do they have Tilk? It's raw. That yeah, was Anubis. Yeah, I wonder if they have Tilk and the rest of the crew. I love a Tilk figure. Indeed. 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 Are any of y'all Stargates fan? No, there's a whole bunch of Stargates, but yeah, I like the original Stargate. SG-1 Matrix figure Final Fantasy Aki Ross Oh, Independence Day figures Yeah, we saw one at Toy Atlanta But not in this style Comes with a mission disc 25 bucks Oh wow, it's like different variants Alien Shock Trooper Oh, this is the Alien Science Officer Independence Day, this is the guy that played um, uh, Jeff Goldblum, that played as David Levinson. It was Jeff Goldblum, right? Hey, I'm Barry Allen. Hey, look at us. Take a look at the earth, Lily. Goodbye. I'll take care, all right? None but love for you. None but love for you. <laughs> look at his eyes, so wonky looking. 15 bucks. 
Yeah, I've never seen these. Yeah, I think we saw that pilot right there. It's like in a big box. Thomas J. Whitmore, 15 bucks. Stephen Hiller. Yeah, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Forget it, did What's Jeff Goldblum in it? I'm gonna get some hate because of that if I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't watch too, too, too many damn movies and shows. Terminator Salvation. Babylon 5 figures. Man, they got everything, man. <laughs> Stargate Atlantis. Jennifer Keller. <laughs> Sequest. <laughs> Dolphin. <laughs> Robocop. Pirates of the Caribbean figures, 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, what they got? It's Captain Jack Sparrow, 15 bucks. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember that one. I'm gonna take a snapshot. Okay, so I don't forget. Bruce Lee, The Dragon Lives, 40 bucks. James Bond. Planet of the Ace figures. Remember getting this at an antique store. Highlander figures as well. 25 months. Oh, it's off the. It's based off the animated series. Hercules. Ten bucks. Yeah, I already got the main Hercules figure. Hercules figures. Narnia? Oh! The, the monitor, Minotaur? Probably pronounced that correctly. 20 bucks. Narnia is probably one of my favorite books of all time. There's a lot of stories in it, but yeah. I like them all. Of course, The Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe is the most popular one. 40 bucks for this one. I know this, these are on ga at GameStop. Yeah, it's an exclusive. Older. Uh, wait, are these there? Yeah, older Indiana Jones figures. Hobbit. Oh. Grin of the Goblin. 15 bucks. Never seen these. Gandalf back there. 20 bucks. Indiana Jones with the horse. That's pretty cool. Is this what's his fame from Lord of the Rings? Billy the Butcher, oh, dang, what's his name? Yeah, he plays him. Anymore. Why am I forgetting his real name? I'm blanking out. It's also in the boys. Hercules, look at this pretty big toy biz figure. 20 bucks. Oh man, I am overwhelmed. I'm kind of glad I didn't buy as much stuff at, uh, Atlanta, so got some money to spend here. Oh man, look at all these Lucy's. Ruth Flair, 20 bucks. Look at this guy. Got a horn going upwards from his head. <laughs> Interesting. 10 bucks. Let's see what lines from his kind of tag there. I think Star Trek. Yeah, I see Star Trek there. Interesting. Barbies as well. Gotta have some Barbies at the toy store. That's Lord of the Ring figures. Yeah, I got some of these. Yeah, I got Legolas. Yeah, these look fantastic. Not the best face goals, but man. Come with a fair amount of accessories. Gotta bring Wrath here. Bring Wraith. 20 bucks. The White Wizard. Saruman. The White. 20 bucks. These are always so awkward to store. Look at the shape of a Strider. Excuse me. 
that man in the corner. Who is he? He's one of them rangers. How dangerous folk they are all in the wilds. What his right name is, I've never heard. But round here, he's known as Strider. A.K.A. Aragorn. He's in the bar. The ranger. Yeah. Excuse us, Mom. Alright, let's go to a different section. Got Detolf here with a whole bunch of six scale figures. Clint Eastwood, Eastwood I believe. Vampirella. Dude, that looks attractive. 400 bucks for that set. Looks like a Johnny Depp figure. Not the best face sculpt, but I don't know from what movie. 400 bucks. Freddy, Dark Trooper, Boba Fett, $500, Lando, yeah, a bunch of Lucy, <laughs> got Top Gun Tom Cruise there, I forget his name in the movie, oh we got um, Russell, uh, is it Tombstone? <laughs> It's an old uh, Wild West show or movie, man, I'm forgetting. Kurt Russell, that's right. Pretty sure that's a Kurt Russell figure. Based on, oh, look at this. Silver, Sylvester Stallone. 200 bucks. Man, that looks pretty good. Too shabby. I wonder if, if that's from 3-0. Legos, more six scale figures. Oh, look at that dude with the horse. Sick. Oh, it's the uh, the black bl blurred, blurred, right? I think, yeah, with you know, uh, why am I forget his name? Freaking, I have spoken, dude. Totally blank it out. Be for Vendetta figure, 90 bucks. Vendetta, held as a votive not in vain, for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. <laughs> Verily, this vicious swaz of verbiage veers most verbose, so let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you, and you may call me V. I always wanted that. I think that may be retail price. That Nightwing. I wonder if they got uh, Hot Toys of uh, Batman Forever figures. Got Spider Man, got Spider Man, Miles, Vision. How much is Vision? 260. Okay, not too shabby. Oh, we got Logan back there, 200 bucks. Venom, 440. Sideshow Magneto, fantastic figure. I got an awesome deal off eBay a while back. 300 bucks. I think that's a pretty good price for him. I think he was, I think he's going for a lot more. Look at that Thor figure. Whoa, never seen that. That looks like a sideshow figure. Punisher back there too. I wonder how much he goes for. Ghost Rider. There's Gambit back there. Storm Shadow. Got Neo. Very cool, man. These 12 inch figures. Werewolf Oz. I got, I got this dude, I forget his name. Got Angel, too. Reservoir Dogs. Tonto? Hey. 
180 bucks. And it's Hot Toys too, so. I wonder if they have the Hot Toys. Oh, Jack Sparrow. Yeah, dude. Vanquisher. Man. So much goodness. Freaking overwhelmed. Yeah, trading cards as well. <laughs> Let's go to a different section. Let's check up here. They got the cave troll. 200 bucks. Got this giant figure. A spike from Buffy. The vampire slayer. Angel as well. There's the face sculpt. Yeah, these are probably kind of old. 500 bucks. Got some hot toys here. Got Wolverine from Sideshow. 225. I think retail's 250. Of course they got pops. Gotta have pops at a toy store, right? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna look around a little bit. Need a shot. Got some loose figures here. Got the Marvel Legends 12 inch Thor. Immortal Hulk. It's a great figure. Sweet, never seen that. Yeah. Got more list figures here. A lot of DC. DC McFarland as well. Yeah, they probably get a lot of collectors that come here and get rid of their collection. So they have, that's why probably a lot of Lucy. You got the clay face that I do want. <laughs> See, I figured out how to manage this thing pretty good. No price tag. Gonna have to check later. Marvel Legends. Yeah. Marvel Universe figures. Three and three quarter ones. Marvel Legends is beast. I need to get a loose one. I got one that's carded, but yeah, it's nice and minty because it's a nice face call. Some more Lucy's here. Some predators. Oh, that one looks awesome. Love the colors. Super 7 and Power Ranger figures. Mystic Knights. It was melting. Look, Very Asian cool. Ooh, cool. Look, Man, they got so much. I'm probably going to miss a lot, but hopefully I can show y'all some decent footage. Got some horror stuff here, NECA. Very fair prices, too. Very surprised. 
Jason Voorhees. Come on, Ali. 21 uh, foreskin figures. Kind of want that jungle hunter. Oh, then again, I want that black bird jet. Man, I want so much, man. Wow. Look at this. Man eating haunter of the pits from Conan, the Hour of the Dragon. 40 bucks. T850. 40 bucks. A whole bunch of NECA figures. Mesco, yeah, Mesco Alien as well. Right. Got some more Motu figures here with the KB Toys tag. He's better than like the new ones, the new ones that they're coming out with, like at Targets. Yeah, the packaging is nicer too. Hey, what's going on fellow Rangers? Welcome back to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. Yes, this toy store is absolutely amazing. It's in Greer, South Carolina. Again, it's called Toy Federation. You know, I had the pleasure to talk to the owner and another person who worked there. And yeah, very cool guys. Uh, if I remember correctly, their name is Ryan and Andy. Um... Yeah, it took us a while to uh, come up with uh, a price that I was comfortable with paying for all these toys that I bought, but we eventually came to a, a good deal. So I'm very pleased with my pickups. And, you know, they actually, uh, the owner, Ryan, he actually just made a, a YouTube channel, maybe not too long, like a month or two ago. And I've been subscribed to them for like several weeks now, and they got really good content. You know, they he likes to show what goes on in the toy store, you know, when it comes to like trades and other stuff. So it's very, it's a very awesome insight to uh, what happens to a toy, uh, toy in a toy store. So definitely go um, follow them at Toy Federation if you're interested. But yeah, let's go and get to the haul. All right, first off, we got a toy that came out in 1991, and it's from Mattel, and it is of the pirate Bill Jukes from the Story Hook. And as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. Corners are a bit bent on the bottom, as you can see. But, yeah, I was very attracted to this, so had to pick it up. All right, up next, we got a figure from Trend Masters, and it's based off the movie Independence Day. And this came out in 1996, and it is of the figure David Levinson, who was played by Jeff Goldblum. And yeah, this attracted me as well. You know, his eyes are a bit wonky. And that's what attracted me even more. I really like goofy looking figures. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have a whole bunch of Toy Biz figures. And first, we have one of Wolverine. And I've never seen this before, so that's what really caught my eye. Comes with a trading card. I like the 
comic book art that it comes with here. Modern Age. I've definitely seen this face sculpt before in other figures, so it's a reissue. I don't know about that body mold though. But it's pretty cool that it comes with the sword there and a the dagger. Alright, up next we have another Wolverine figure, which I've never seen before. Let's take a closer look. There's the card back. Very nice and simple. There's the face sculpt close up. Not too shabby, right? Yeah, I like it. It comes with that leather-like jacket. It's got the painted hair on this chest. And it comes with this sentinel action, attack action figure here. Take a closer look. All right, up next we have another Wolverine figure from the Secret Weapon Force line. And yeah, it comes with this super shooter here, as you can see. But mainly got it because it was Wolverine. And then we got another Secret Force weapon figure here of Apocalypse. Look at that big old head on his body there. It comes with this battle blaster, which is pretty huge. Look at the KB Toys tag there. $6.99. And then we have another Secret Weapon Force figure of Colossus. Pretty sure I have this loose. Very awesome. Alright, and I actually got more Secret Weapon Force figures. I'll be right back. What do you know? It's another Wolverine figure. And this is also from the Secret Weapon line. This comes with a battle blaster. And yeah, it doesn't have the best face sculpt of Wolverine. But that makes me like it more. And it's, yeah, his face kind of looks like a dummy in a way because that chin and bottom mouth part is like a separate piece. Very interesting. Alright, and then we have another Secret Weapon Force figure of Cyclops. Very cool. Comes with the War Tank Blaster. Yeah, these are some big weapons that it comes with. Interesting. Motorized, transforming missile firing cycle. So I wonder if it takes batteries. Yeah, it looks like it has some kind of switch there. And up next we have Beast with transforming power cannon. I don't know why they made these with huge weapons, but let me know. Is it based off a, a particular comic book? All right, up next we got some figures from the Austin Powers line from McFarland Toys. And this probably came out in the early 2000s, if I'm correct. See if I could find a date. Yeah, actually, yeah, 2000. But uh, yeah, these are nine-inch figures. They actually come with a pull string, where if you pull it, then it makes a sound of their voice clips from the movie. Here's Doctor Evil, and the Siamese cat. And these look pretty good for being 23-year-old figures. Really, not too bad. But yeah, these are nice and minty. A little scuffs here and there, but not too bad. I'm having a bit conflicted though. I kind of want to take these out so I can pull those strings and hear the sound bites. Yeah, I really like how this one came out as well. Looks great. Comes with that base with the flowers. Very fitting. <laughs> And that's it for Austin Powers. Just kidding. We got one more. No, I have to get Fat Bastard, aka Fat Man. This is probably the most attractive one for me. Definitely, actually. <laughs> Love it. Really want to take this one out in particular. This has got the initial FB for Fat Bastard. But they put Fat Man. 
just so you can guess why. All right, there's that. And we got one more figure that I picked up from Toy Federation. All right, last and certainly not the least, this is a Build-A-Figure that I've been hunting for for at least two years. Um, it is from a DC Multiverse um, line, and it's the Build-A-Figure of Clayface. Oh, yes. Absolutely love this figure. I mean, this is the Clayface figure that I, you know, think about when I think about my childhood. You know, it's based off the Batman animated series. Um, the new one from McFarlane, it's not that bad. I mean, I feel like this one still is of higher quality. You know, it doesn't have very elaborate details or anything like that. I mean, it's just clay face. You don't really have a lot to them, but a whole bunch of clay and wrinkles and yeah, just a lot of layers of clay, basically. But I love how the mouth has articulation and yeah let's take a closer look at the face sculpt looks really nice in my opinion let me know what do y'all think i mean look at the nose the eyes that is a really good looking clay face figure i like the articulation too it's pretty satisfying to move around all right here's just a really quick size comparison of the clay face build a figure next to the Killer Croc build a figure from the DC Multiverse line. And we have the Batman that came in the same wave as the Killer Croc build a figure. And we have a McFarlane Batman here. And as you can see, these two build a figures match really well with both Batman figures. I mean, the McFarlane one is considered a 7 inch, seven inch figure, and this one is a 6 inch figure. But I think they fit really well with both of them, as you can see. Anyways, thanks a whole heap for watching. Hope y'all are doing great. Please consider giving this video a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Range Road! Peace!